everybody, Ken Selville here today, just doing a quick little video on these lovely Gloxinias. Uh, Gloxinias, the Sininia family, really a uh, cool plant to grow. I just want you to have a look at this and I'll give you some uh, growing tips. Now, I've bought these bulbs, these are all very similar to a begonia tuber. And um, I bought these approximately, I think it was two years ago and potted them up and uh, waited patiently and they started to grow and uh, they were fabulous. They shot up and bloomed really, really beautifully. You can see how gorgeous these things are. Just amazing blossoms. And they're literally hanging all over the plant and there's buds coming here as well. But uh, so you can see I put the tubers in not too deep, uh, just with the top of it sort of exposed and um, these plants surprisingly need quite a bit of water they go through a lot of water so uh, they these plants have dry out almost every day or so so uh, um, i do let them dry every day and then i i give them a good soaking um, and they seem to like that but um, like i say two years ago planted them up got them growing and then um, once they started to uh, to produce, uh, got some beautiful buds, got some beautiful blooms, and enjoyed those. And then when they were finished blooming, I just pinched off all the all the blooms that were there. And I'm just going to try to to uh, show you this here if I can. <laughs> so awkward, um, but like this one here, as soon as they they sort of look sad and and you know head head down to the ground then you can you can snap these off i have my my pruning shears here and i'm just going to snip this off there we go so get rid of that bloom and uh getting rid of the old blooms it's not critical or anything it's just a more of a tidiness thing and so um these blooms have been blooming now for about, I would say, two weeks, and uh, they're starting to fade a little bit today. And I've got some new ones. These two just opened, so they just, they kind of open randomly. We have uh, several shoots growing off this. So this is year two. This is the second time I was able to get them to bloom. You can see some buds coming on the tip of this one over here. Again, buds on this one. So after growing them for the first uh, first year, I just put them outside. I trimmed off all the dead flowers, put them outside, and uh, just let them grow in a shady spot uh, uh, with my other tropical plants. Most of the plants that we have, we can see we have we have a lot more than just what's here. This is just what's in front of this window, but um, we would move all these plants outside. That would be the goal for sure. And then these guys would grow through the summertime, and when they naturally die off then what we will do is we will uh, just let them go dry at that point and keep them quite dry. I move them into the basement. I don't really keep them cool or warm. I just keep them dry. That keeps them uh, partially dormant. And um, then after a period of time, they eventually start to shoot again. So when they start to shoot from the bulb, because this will all die off and then you'll get new, some new shoots coming on the bulb, then um, then you can move them up and put them in a bright window. So the key to getting them to flower is bright light. And you can see we're right in front of the big windows here. So we've got lots of light here and this really makes, uh, just makes these things bloom. So even when I pull them away from the light, like once they start to flower, I'll put them on a table where I can enjoy them away from the windows, but they will... Um, slow down they don't bloom as much like these buds actually stalled after they've been here for quite a while but they stalled after i removed them from the light so getting them back close to the window again that's one of the keys so anyway uh so these guys are blooming again for the second time and starting to look good i i don't fertilize them very much they're related to african violets and so you know they do need a little bit of food i can, you can use african violet food if you like or uh, any water soluble fertilizer really would be fine but they need fertilizing only about once a month and uh, they can be uh, quite a good plant interesting thing about them is the way these leaves they grow almost like a creeping vine like when you buy these things in the garden centers they're usually short and stocky and just like a you know a, a rosette of leaves with the flowers sitting right in them and that's uh, it's actually due to growth regulators that they use when they grow them in the greenhouses keeps them more compact and keeps them uh, just uh, let's say more presentable uh, to the public and looks like a nice product but when you 
you can keep those plants for years and years as well and rebloom them but they uh, they won't grow compact like that after the first time that's just because of the growth regulators these ones this is how they grow normally is more like a almost like a creeping vine uh, almost and you see that these leaves curl like this and from what i could find is uh, i don't know if this is because i know our water is quite salty here we've got a high high uh, salt concentration in our water supply it could be because of that but it's also because the um I think it's because these things are climbing because I, I noticed when I had them on another in another location that the leaves would actually grab onto the sides and grab onto the, uh, the plants nearby and they would literally like grab them and hold on. So these are almost like hands reaching out. If anybody out there knows um, knows a little more information about how they whether they are actually climbing in the wild. I have tried to do a little bit of research uh, to see. I believe these are native to areas like in Brazil, that sort of thing. So um, you would have to uh, see them in, in the wild and see how they actually grow. So very cool plant. I love the Gloxinias. And uh, I definitely want to get some of the blue ones. They're pretty cool looking as well. So lots of different colors available. And uh, just a real, real beautiful plant and something that's a little bit unusual. So hopefully I was able to give you a little bit of information today. Uh, just that they do need super bright light. They need to be regularly watered because they do use quite a bit of water. Just a little bit of fertilization about once every month. And um, in the when they start to, or when they finish blooming, put them outside somewhere in a shady spot and just grow them as long as you can. That helps to fill that bulb or that tuber up so it becomes bigger and stronger. And then you can uh, just apply a little bit of fertilizer at that time if you like as well. Keep it growing as long as you can. And when it starts to die off, just snip it right off, get back to the bulb, let it dry right out, put it into storage and you should get blooms again. So that's basically it for Gloxinias today. Uh, pretty cool plant and uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, I helped you with some information today. Don't forget to subscribe. Please add some comments if you have experience with these plants. That's awesome to, to hear more about them. Anyway, have a great day. Thanks for tuning in.